Okay. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Um, welcome to Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG. Today is Thursday, March 9th. Um, so on the agenda, I have, uh, if John Mark, you can go over the GSOC uh, update, and then we'll briefly go over the Jenkins Contributor Award scale 20 uh, conference. And then Mark, I don't know if you want me to include the developer relations on here yet. If it's too early, I can, too early. can definitely too okay. early. So remove yeah. it from here. Yeah, I think okay. I think it's important, but I don't think we're ready for discussion yet. Let's let's talk further later. Okay. All right. And I see Bruno is doing is adding yeah, stuff. Sorry. Uh no, no worries. Um anything else that we need to add to the agenda. Uh, do we need anything on CDCon in May? Yeah. Um, or is no, it premature? Not, there's there's no new information at the moment. Okay. So nothing then on CDCon. Great. Right. Right. Okay. So, uh, oh, well, action item. Sorry. So we got the newsletter in pull request. Thank you so much, Bruno, Mark, and the team for um, adding inputs to it. Uh, so, Jamar, GSOC. GSOC is going strong. A lot of interest, a lot of attendance to the different meetings that uh, we organized to explain the project ideas in details. So, we covered already seven project ideas in details. And all these sessions were very interesting. Uh, very well followed um, and um, is looking good. Today we have the last presentation session uh, with the last three projects that we have in our lineup. Uh, we have already drafts uh, that are published and uh, starting to, to be reviewed. Uh, so it will be a tough session because we will have to choose. But on the other side, it's good that there is a lot of interest. And um, so uh, the next milestones are uh, March 20th, uh, where contributors can start to... Um, submit, register and submit the proposal. Uh, April 4th is uh, the deadline uh, where they have to be entered and there it will be an interesting count how many proposals we received compared to last year. But uh, as several people shared with me, we have a stronger session this year than last year. Yeah. Uh, and then starts a big pile of work uh, to rank all those uh, proposal and set up our order of battle and see how many projects we uh, we can handle efficiently and safely. So this is the update. Very interesting session. Very interesting interactions with the students and contributors. A lot of good energy. So going forward. That's yeah, my so, update. So I put an action item for myself to reach out to mentors to get feedback for the proposals, the, at least the ones that we have received thus far. So we have until March 19th, which is to me, it's just too close. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, so we need to provide input. So that means there's workload for mentors. Yep. Well, and John Mark, I liked your sheet that you had created to the mentors to say, hey, check off. I reviewed one and I put my little entry in the sheet. So thanks very much. And thank you, Chris, for your reviews. Yeah. Yeah, it's for very sure. interesting. Yeah. I need to yeah. update the, the latest proposal. So please help me uh, to keep that list up to date. Yeah, so we're we're busy. We're busy. That's so. all. Definitely. And I think it helps when John Mark, like, so when you took like a first pass and then you put in the spreadsheet, you know, not enough information, um, 
that kind of stuff. I think that that's helpful. Yeah. It was a drafty draft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, any other questions for or comments for Jean Marc? All right. Uh, Jenkins Contributor Awards. So we got a lot of nominations in and as I mentioned throughout my communications, I think all the nominations are winners. So, um, so thank you everybody for that. Uh, the voting is now open and I've created a form for it. So um, we have a deadline to March 28th. And then the announcement's gonna be made at CDCon, which is in May. And then Mark and I are attending the SCALE conference this Friday, so that's tomorrow. And um, I think we're all set, we're, we're staffing the booth. We will be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and we're expecting a nice visit from Kosuke on Sunday. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, he has a speaking session there, but he'll probably hang out at the booth with us for a little bit. And then um, Mark is also bringing his mini gen. So I, as I mentioned, it's a big deal for us because uh, Mark only travel with a backpack. <laughs> <laughs> so this time, this time Mark's bringing a big backpack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we're grateful. Thanks, Mark. And then Bruno, this next item is yours. Yeah, so I'll be giving a 45 minutes talks at Dave de Mons, which happens to be in Belgium, but quite far from Jean Marc's home. Um, so it will be, of course, about my discovery of Jenkins through um, trying to build Android applications with Jenkins. I said trying, no, succeeding in building Android applications with Jenkins. Of course, that does work. <laughs> So question, I guess, for um, everyone on this call should. So as Bruno is doing more of these, should we be putting this on the um, Jenkins.io events calendar? What's your thought? We, we haven't put talks by contributors on the events calendar in the past, yeah. but I, I have no objection. I mean, it's if Dev Day's Moms is having a, a session on Jenkins, which it obviously is because Bruno's presenting it. I, I'm not sure I object. Okay. Or should I, mean, I? It seems like it would be posting that Dev Day's Moms is the thing more than it is that Bruno's giving a talk. Because if it's Bruno's giving mm -hmm. a talk, there are probably 20 or 30 people who should be listed as giving a talk at various places. And I'm not sure that we're ready for that that level of noise on the events calendar. Okay. Makes so sense. then maybe no? have a separate page, create a separate page where we list uh, Jenkins specific talks or- Or encourage kind of Bruno either before or after the talk to post either a link, a blog post with his talk or a, a link to the material from the talk. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Makes sense. Okay, great. Um, and then the last item I have is this Sunday is for us is daylight savings time. So that means we are falling backwards oh, one hour. No. Yeah, again. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're, they're, they're two weeks earlier than other parts of Europe, the yeah. world. Please lobby your elected representatives to stop <laughs> meddling with clocks. I agree. Just live in an area where we could ask them to stop that. Yeah. But then the other question will be, so they'll stop, but which way will they stop? Winter time I, or summer I, time? Summer time actually, is the right time. I actually don't <laughs> care. So long as they stop, I'm fine. It's the, the meddling. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It does something with anyway. our psyche. So no, no. All right. So okay. that's it. That's all I have. I don't have other subject either. So we did get two two new blog posts today on Jenkins.io. Um, we may have a third, and so would be good to get those out on the on the social media channels. Okay. Uh, I've got to check to see if they're actually visible, or maybe you could do it for us, Alyssa. Check to see that they're yeah. visible. 
Yeah. Okay. Contributor awards, voting open. That's a, a really good one to get out. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got this out yesterday. Well, okay. So I linked it to the. Um, oh, so you already have form. tweeted this. You've tweeted this. I tweeted, so, but I good. attached the form with it. Perfect. Okay. So it's already been tweeted. So the, the other one, then I can do the, the proposed social media because it's my blog post. And there, we just need to warn people that um, on Saturday morning at midnight UTC, we're going to have up to 30 minutes of downtime for JIRA. And, and that's the, this is a, we're very grateful that, that Atlassian has donated JIRA again to the Jenkins project. That's really great. It simplifies the security team's work. It improves a bunch of things, keeps our lives much simpler. And we're going to need to do an update in order to use the new the new thing that they've given us. Awesome. So I'll do that. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Yep. And you mentioned there was a third one. Is that the uh, newsletter or? Yeah, the newsletter I think was a candidate, but Bruno, that's scheduled for tomorrow. Is that right? I'm afraid or... it is. Yes, I can change it whenever right. you want to. But no, no, tomorrow that's is fine. great because yeah. two two posts in a day is already one mm -hmm. more than we typically want to do yeah yeah i think that works all right then we are gonna hop over to john mark's meeting then thanks everybody okay thank bye. you bye bye